What's up boys and girls, welcome to another video with me, Alex, the dude who likes personal finance and lives in one of the most remote places on earth, Greenland. Why live in Greenland? And have you ever thought of why people even choose to settle in such a remote place? And just to clarify, Greenland is the big island that you fly over once you go from Europe to the United States. And we have a lot of melting inland ice at the moment. Donald Trump actually tried to buy Greenland last year, if that rings a bell to anyone. Well, as a citizen of this very scarcely populated country, we actually have 38 square kilometers for each citizen here in Greenland, just so you know, very easy to be socially distanced at the moment. I think I might have the answers to why I choose to live in Greenland, as I personally have been living here for 14 to 15 years. And with that experience, I will give you my own thoughts and own opinions as to why you might want to choose to settle down and live here in Greenland. So sit back, relax, hit the like button, subscribe, comment down below if you have any more questions. You guys really are awesome at commenting and all my videos, so I really appreciate that. It makes me more knowledgeable about where I actually live. And we just hit over 200 subscribers and it's just going faster and faster. We are coming for the 1000 subscribers. So, mucho gracias. So, a few months back I had a rather descriptive comment about me buying a house here in Greenland. <laughs> pretty, pretty descriptive. But what I took from that comment was, first of all, a very good comparison between Greenland and a fridge, but also the comment of why I even choose to live here in Greenland. And that one really got me thinking, which is why I'm making this video. It really is a very good question as to why I even choose to live here in Greenland, you know, when it's extremely cold and dark outside and you're just thinking of lying down on a beach and soaking in the sun with a good drink in your hand or just some water if you feel like that. But I still live here and hopefully these five whys will give you a better understanding of living in Greenland and why I live in Greenland in the first place. Number one, definitely short distances. I mean, in Greenland you can get to pretty much anywhere in the matter of minutes, since the distances in the towns, not between the towns, but in the towns are so small and you don't even have to own a car, for example. I don't own a car. The term commuting is not very much used here in Greenland. Well, we do get traffic jams in Nuuk, but I think we can all agree upon that we have all seen worse traffic jams compared to the ones we have in Nuuk. A ride with a local bus in any other town will get you pretty much around the whole town within 20 to 30 minutes. Riding with the bus is also a very good and fairly cheap way to get around town, to explore it, just to see it, get an idea of where you actually are. So in my opinion, you can totally live without owning a car, saving you both money and also gaining you a better health because you actually have to walk or take a bicycle to get anywhere. A biggie is the nature and breathtaking views we have here. It gives you a sense of freedom that you can see 70 to 100 kilometers into the horizon with no obstructions or smog covering the mountains. I have grown up in the Greenlandic nature and it gives me a sense of peace or comfort, as you might say it, that no other large city, example Sydney, would ever be able to provide to me. Although Sydney is a lovely city in its own definitely go there and visit. The nature just removes the stress. I mean, being able to see icebergs floating by and watching the sun rise up in the horizon and pretty much just knowing how insignificant we as human beings are compared to the large nature we have here. I personally think that the nature has a lot more power than we actually provide to it. Just to give you an example, the global warming that where we as human beings are pretty much screwing up the planet at the moment. And if we don't do anything about it, a lot of people will lose their livelihoods and their homes. And some people might end up dying and becoming climate change refugees. Actually, up here in Greenland, we have this sort of cultural acceptance as to how powerful the nature just is. Let's give an example. You want to go from point A to point B, you know, traveling between two cities. You will never be 100% sure that you actually will get to the destination that you wanted to go to, to begin with, because sometimes there's a snowstorm. I mean, I got stuck in Gansluswak for two days going up here to Sisimiut where I am at the moment. As you can see, these monkeys, I have never shown them on video before. That's because I'm not in Nuuk anymore. I'm in Sisimiut. But anyways, I was stuck in Gansluswak for two days, but luckily I ended up here in Sisimiut for Christmas. Just in time, the 23rd. So that was good. 
But besides the plane delays, the nature really helps me with oftentimes very busy work schedules and it pretty much just calms me down. And I really like that about Greenland. Another good reason as to why I live here in Greenland are the fairly fair salaries we have up and work weeks of roughly 40 hours per week. And of course, also the free healthcare we have. So just like any other country in Scandinavia, usually those are the countries that we compare ourselves with, we do have fairly short work weeks. A typical work week is 40 hours, but be aware some companies choose to pay and not to pay for your lunch. So be aware of that. It also means that you can take weekends off and you can actually do something with your day once you get back home. I mean, you can choose to start your own side hustle with I am trying to do at the moment with the YouTubes and stuff. Or you can pretty much sit and meditate the whole day and all of the weekends. It is up to you what you want to spend your time with. Being a university graduate or a carpenter or a plumber or any other professions bachelor, I think that you get paid a fairly okay salary for living up here. Not speaking for unqualified work, but I think if you have a sought after degree, like a plumber or a carpenter at the moment, I think you get fairly well compensated for living here. And the healthcare is also free if you ever get a chance to get a hold of them over the very busy hospital phone lines. Lastly, I also have a video of where I go into depth the more personal finance related topics as to why you might want to live here in Greenland. One of them being the 0% in capital gains on stocks. So watch that one up here. I will link it. Numero cuatro. Well, underdeveloped market. I think it's a very large plus for people who actually wants to start something or do something new. As Greenland is not considered 100% a developed country yet, I think that also is a very good why as to why you might want to move and live here because you can actually implement things that has not been implemented yet, which might seem otherwise fairly common and used in the country you live in at the moment. So you can actually take a very well and tried out idea in another developed country and just take the idea from where you live at the moment, move to Greenland and implement it up here. So you can actually gain all those monopolic effects that such an implementation might have. As examples, being the first one to implement, let's say, electrical charge points for electric vehicle. Fun fact, all the large cities like Nuuk, Sisimut and Ilulisat, they all run on clean hydropower energy at the moment. Other ones could be geocoding for Google Maps, a real estate marketplace platform. I might do that one. I think that would be pretty cool to have everything gathered in one spot. Also hydroponic farming, which they actually are trying out at the moment, but we could all be self-sufficient if we chose to grow more crops and grow more indoor with the hydroponic farming technology there is available at the moment. Another one could also be server hosting. I mean, we have fairly frigid temperatures year round, very good for cooling down large servers. And we also have the internet cable coming from Canada and Iceland. And of course the all right cheap hydropower we have. Basically just taking other ideas that are otherwise fairly successfully implemented in other countries, taking that idea, dropping it down here in Greenland and introduce them to the marketplace. I really believe that people who move to Greenland with an idea that they want to implement, which has been tried in other countries before, or a brand new idea, you can become fairly successful up here. Just be aware the market is not as large. I mean, we have what, 56, 55,000 people in all of Greenland. So be aware of that one. If you want to scale like dramatically, if you're not sleeping, I will bring you the last one, which is the big influence that you can rather quickly gain up here in Greenland as we don't have that many people and people who actually do an awesome job up here, they don't have to climb the corporate ladder. They can just take the elevator because as we are very few people here, I think people with opinions and things they want to implement in Greenland can rather quickly have a very large impact, but on both the business and the society. It definitely isn't for the faint of hearted as you usually when you get into a new job or enter into any new project for that matter, you will get a lot of responsibility up front. I mean, just the first year of working here, I found myself in positions where I was making the shots, even though I 
didn't have that much experience. But that simply boils down to that we don't have enough people to do all the jobs that we actually want to get done up here. So if you like responsibility, it is a good way to gain experience and to advance quickly here. It just goes faster. And I think that was it, because usually attention spans tend to be fairly short here on YouTube. So thank you for watching. This is not a complete list of why I would like to live here in Greenland and why I would not choose to live here in Greenland. Just the most important whys, why I think it is awesome to live here in Greenland and why I personally live here myself. So with that said, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. It really helps out with the algorithm and showing these videos to other people who might be interested in them. Don't forget to subscribe, comment down below if you have any questions. I might make a video about it and see you next time on the next video. Okay, bye.